Hey guys, look what I have. I have the Hasselblad X1D in my right hand and the new 21 millimeter uh, lens that just arrived for me to check it out. Uh, this is going to give you around a 16 millimeter in full frame 35 millimeter, so it's very wide angle. But on this 50 uh, megapixel sensor in the X1D, beautiful sensor, one of my all time favorite cameras, this lens might just pack a punch. So Debbie and I are gonna head out to a cool place we like to hang out at in Phoenix called the deuce and i'm going to take a few shots with this and maybe we'll talk a little bit about it talk about it a little bit more once we get there so let's go over and uh, check out the deuce So we're at the Deuce and I have the X1D and the 21 millimeter F4. I've been walking around shooting it and it's giving that really wide angle. But I can also tell just by looking through the viewfinder that this is going to be a cracker of a lens as it should be for something like this. So let's take a look at just some snapshots I took around the Deuce here um, and see what kind of quality is coming out of the camera with this wide angle lens. So this will be my first use of the lens. Here Debbie has the X1D with a big smile. <laughs> we finished our beer at the Deuce, drinking our normal orange blossom. I was making sure the camera was set up. This is the first time I'm using the lens and I wanted to make sure it was uh, all the settings were right with the X1D. And I was getting ready to walk around uh, the Deuce and just snap some snapshots just to see the quality. And I ran into a guy named John Friend who is the founder of Cuff Covers. I don't know this guy, he was just here. And he's like, hey, take some video of my Cuff Covers. No, I'm talking about these. So what are they called? They're called Cuff Covers. They're to uh, snap over your pant cuffs so you can match your shoes with your, you know, the rest of your outfit and they snap off just like that and snap on just as easily. Awesome. Yeah. And where can people find out about it? www.cuffcovers.com or on all social media. So, as I walked around, I took the X1D and I snapped some shots for John. I said, hey, do you mind if I take a few shots of your product and uh, I'll email them to you later. It's funny how things work out. We go there, we bump into a couple uh, showing their um, cuff covers and, well, I don't know if they were a couple, but they were together and he was taking photos of her wearing these. So I said, let me take a few photos if you don't mind and I'll email them to you. Maybe you can use them. Uh, if so, great. If not, that's okay. So uh, it was it was able to give me a little uh, test of the 21 millimeter, both up close from a distance and in very low light. This was indoor. There wasn't much light here, so the ISO was cranked up. But the 21 millimeter f/4 proved to be quite a nice lens. Now I love the X1D. I know many don't like it, but it has become a very very capable camera with all the firmware updates from Hasselblad and it is in my top two cameras of all time um, because it's medium format you can walk around with and treat as any other mirrorless that's the beauty of it 50 megapixels amazing sensor amazing dynamic range so away I went uh, Debbie and I to uh, shoot some more photos around the deuce and let's see how it did Right off the bat, you can see that X1D rendering color snap. Um, just that medium format vibe. Look at how crisp that beer is and how the color is so wonderful. That's one thing I like with the X1D. The camera color is, is beautiful and I actually prefer it to the Sony's and to other brands. It's one of the things I like about the X1D. The 21 millimeter was delivering fantastic color, fantastic contrast. And with that dynamic range of this sensor, um, basically, I could have pulled these shadows way out. It's pretty much unlimited when you're dealing with the shadows, um, even highlights here. She was in uh, some harsh sun shining through the ceiling, uh, which I did a test for lens flare, which I'll show you in the next image right here. Um, but we were having a good time. I was having a good time. It's always fun when I shoot the X1D. Here you can see the lens flare of the 21, but I was aiming it 
directly into the sun. Yes, the lens hood was on, but when you aim it right into the sun, you know, that's what you're going to get. Uh, we were going to take a selfie with the camera, and Debbie was simulating that I was there next to her so I could frame the shot, um, even though I didn't really care for the selfie. I'm not a selfie kind of guy, but here we are in the deuce, and uh, this was with the X1D using the self-timer. Um, again, uh, the 21 gave no issues. The X1D gave no issues. Focus was fast, but when I got to the really low light parts of, of the deuce, the autofocus did not want to catch on, so I switched to manual focus, um, which was no problem. Um, again, I love the X1D. You guys know I love the X1D. I did a huge four-part review of it when I purchased, yes, purchased the X1D. But it was time to leave the deuce, and we were going to go out in some harsh sun at 115 degrees. All right, so we're leaving the deuce. That was cool. It's always fun there. If you're ever in Phoenix, check it out. D-U-C-E, the deuce. But now we're going to run by some uh, murals here in Phoenix, and it's like 115 degrees out here. It has to be. It's hot. But uh, we're going to take a few more images and then head back home. All right, it's, it's like super sunny out, so the dynamic range here of the X1D is really welcome because this sun is brutal. So I'm just gonna shoot some images of some colorful murals here in an alley, and then uh, we're gonna head home, and that'll be my first look at the Hasselblad 21, XCD21 uh, F4. So let's walk down this alley here and see what we can find. If I didn't already say it, it's at, at least 115 degrees today. So I'm gonna take this picture here and we're getting a really wide field of view. Let's go this way and see what we can find. I need some water and I'm sure Debbie does too. She's filming this with a Sony A9 and a Zeiss 18 millimeter Batiste. All right. All right, one more because I think it's actually dangerous to stand out here for more than another five minutes. So I'm gonna take this shot here, get a little closer. So let's get back to the car. We're gonna head home. It's just way too hot out here. So far so good with the 21 and uh, I'll have more to add in a bit. So we're back home. It's a few degrees cooler. It's like 105 instead of 115 or so. Um, so it's cooled off some, if you want to say that. A couple things I want to say to close out this video. This lens is fantastic. The feel, the weight, compared to the 45 millimeter that many of us who bought the X1D bought it with, this is more substantial, but it's not too heavy. Um, it's well balanced. Um, the shutter sound of the lens is much quieter, much more subdued than the metallic click of the other lenses. So Hasselblad is uh, really improving this camera in so many ways. Not only the firmware, but in the construction of the lenses because the shutter is in the lens. So they're all a little different. But my first day, my first look with this lens is spectacular. I really love the X1D. You guys know that. Um, you could just see right here, it's a little bigger than my A9. And it's medium format. It's, it's way smaller than that Fuji GFX. So I can take it with me anywhere. I can take it street shooting. I can take it to low light clubs. I can take it anywhere. Uh, so that's what makes it valuable to me. And if you want a wide angle lens, Earlier I said this gives you a 16 millimeter in 35, it actually gives you a 17. So it's a very wide lens, um, but if you're a wide angle shooter and you own an X1D, this lens will not disappoint you. I'm gonna shoot with it more this week and maybe I'll have an update, but so far so good. This is just a beautiful combo, it really is. One of my favorite cameras of all time, right here. So it's still hot out sitting in the sun, so I have a pool over here and I'm going to go jump in it right now.
All right, guys, feels much better after that hot day. If you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching what I do. Um, I love what I do. It's amazing to be able to do what you love every day. And I have you guys to thank for that. Check out stefafoto.com and I will see you guys next time. Bye.